We're here at the Adamus booth with Will, yep. uh, checking out some new recorders from you guys. Now, you guys have been uh, blowing up the market with affordable, small, portable, just the right yep. kind of monitor, right kind of recorder for, for anyone in the market. Uh, of course, we've got a whole new lineup of products coming out, new cameras, yep. and you guys are coming right alongside of it to come up with some new products. Tell us about that. Yeah, okay. So, uh, we've launched two new recorders on the market uh, for this NAB show. We've got the Shogun here, which is our 4K recorder. Uh, it will record in ProRes, AvaDNX, and uh, Cinema DNG RAW for those RAW fanatics out there you can also on HD you can record up to 120 FPS it's a beautiful big screen seven inches uh, IPS touchscreen it's 1920 by uh, 1200 so you can fit full HD in there uh, <clears throat> with no rescaling it's got all the usual uh, monitor assist and focal assist functions you know zebra blue only false color uh, waveform vector scope etc uh, you cut and tag editing as well it's got uh, XLR balance Balance XLR audio uh, through the Limo connector. You'll be able to record still to your standard 2.5 inch hard drives and solid state drives. And this is expected to ship August, September this year. We want to announce at IBC now shipping. And um, uh, it'll be for $1,995. So That's a great, price. great pr price point, I think. Very competitive. Is there uh, any special SSDs that you need to work with that? No, we've got a list on our website of all the uh, third-party SSDs and hard drives that we work with. There's a big list, Toshiba, Hitachi, HSC, Western Digital, OWC. Um, we want to make, you know, photographers, or cinema cameramen, I should say, uh, you know, they've been sent to the ends of the earth, to Tanzania, to Greenland, to Brazil, etc. And you know, we're, we're a growing company, but our supply chain isn't going to be in all those areas, whereas computers are pretty much everywhere these days, and the hard drives and all that you can get. So that was a, a decision that we made to make it. And also it's just cheaper for the end user as well. So the interface is via HDMI. Is there any support for SDI input? Uh, the interface is for both, okay. HDMI and SDI. All right, so you're working with the uh, A7S here. That's correct. And uh, right now, you, this is the only, you know, if you want to shoot 4K out of the, the A7S, this is really the only way to do it. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. And, uh, it's been a lot of popularity for this camera, so yeah. it's nice to see that option. It's an amazing work. camera, you know. It, it's a it's, uh, mi first mirrorless full-frame sensor on the market, I believe, and to output 4K just makes it an even better camera. I mean, they didn't have to do that to, to, to win a, a good portion of the market, but they did. Mm -hmm. So it's obviously, they're, they're, they've been quite aggressive and it's, it's great for the consumer because what is traditionally, you know, a very expensive 4K or whatever, and these high-end cameras has now been pushed down into more and more DSLRs. It's not just Sony, it's, uh, you know, the, um, was it Panasonic with the GH4, etc. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're really excited about that. We feel like we've timed it right. You, more and more screens are coming on the market that can handle 4K. The general populace understands what 4K is a bit better, so it's a great time. Awesome. So, talk about the workflow with uh, with working with this. You know, you've got you said ProRes, you got DNX HD, and uh, and uh, Cinema DNG. DNG. So, is the ProRes both HD and 4K? Then? Uh, that's that's correct. SD, HD, 4K, and the brochure actually has all that outlined on on our website as well. You just what you do is when the input comes in, you deciding on what you want the output from your camera to be. For example, on the 5D Mark III, you do a 60i or 24p out. Our device will read that. Obviously, in these 4K cameras, will have 4K outputs. Um, and you, you, you can on our, we'll give you a selection of toggles, whether you want to do like 50, 30p, 25p, 24p, etc. You can toggle through that, and you can choose between ProRes, Cinema, DNG Raw, or over DNX HD, uh, to your liking, and depending on what NLE you're going to ingest in, etc. Once you've once you've set that up, you can if you just depending on if you want to, you can set up time code and trigger from the camera so it's in sync. If you want to also record internally, or you want to just trigger from the camera, um, then you can then before prior to acquisition, you go in, you know you, you check your focus with the focal peaking etc. You check your ex exposure with waveform and vector scope. And once all that's done, you simply press record and you're good to go. And during as you're recording, if you see something that you know is going to go in the final product, say you're recording a 4K wedding, or whatever. Um, you, you know, when the, when the bride and groom say, I do, yes, you want that, so your favorite. When the drunk uncle says a stupid speech, you press reject. And then, you know, when you're in your post-production, you've got 10 hours of footage, you can quickly go to what's good and, what's, and ignore what's not, and that will just speed up that whole process there. Once you've finished your recording, you just go to our playback page, press export as an XML file, that'll generate a uh, Final Cut Pro project. Take out, put the caddy in your in our, our docking station, and you're good to go straight from there. There's no transcoding or anything. And if you've been uh, diligent, all our screens are uh, simply Rec 709 calibrated. Uh, so that means that if you've taken multiple shots over multiple months and you've, you've continued to calibrate your screen, you should have a minimal color normalization process as well, which once again expedites the whole 
process. So, yeah, we're really happy with that. Very great. So, power options, yeah. uh, how it does, what are the, the, the different options that somebody can use? For okay, well, the one thing you will never ever be short of is power options with Atomos. We've got a patented continuous power system which allows you to hot swap batteries at any time, uh, which means that you can have power just going non stop. We use standard Sony MPF batteries. Uh, if you get our DSLR focused uh, devices such as the Ninja Blade and, and the Ninja 2, we actually include uh, Canon and Nikon's battery adapters so you can use those batteries instead of Sony batteries. In all boxes we always include one Sony battery anyway. Um, and also we supply um, AC power adapters and include in selected devices or you can buy separately a D DTAP adapter as well. Um, so really there is no shortage of power solutions for that. Awesome. So tell us about the Ninja Blade as well. Uh, the Ninja Star. Oh, Ninja yeah. Star, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the Ninja Star is uh, it, it's at the other end of the spectrum. It's, it's a stripped down version of, of our recorders. There's no screen. It records into ProRes uh, at uh, HQ, LT and 4, 4 to 2, 10 bit. Um, and basically it's 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. It records to a CFast card. And because it's so light, you know, and it doesn't have a screen, it, it's for those people that have small HDs that love them. There's a HDMI out so they can feed the signal to that. Or if they're recording on a secondary camera, you know, you have three or four cameras, you don't need to monitor those ones, just it's a cheaper version because it's only $295. Um, or they're putting it up on a DJI, and we all know, you know, those quadcopters and helicopters, not just DJI, but all of them are becoming extremely popular and, and they get some great shots. And we enable you to do it without the hassle of some of these cameras' uh, internal codecs taking a lot of time to right. in post production. Yeah. Or needing to have a giant monitor hanging out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, no, in that situation, weight's all. It weight is everything. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's a great design to see uh, all these different options, whatever you may need. There's a new solution on yeah, the market. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Will. And at $295, I think uh, you know everyone can afford a that really is. nice codec yeah. to make pro professional looking productions. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Special thanks to our sponsors for making our NAB coverage possible.